Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and this is fantastic news that I'm sharing today. We finally have, through 10 months of pushing and working with Microsoft, their tech support team, um, having new DLLs created and all sorts of work and, and problems, uh, we finally have the pen tool working with all Surface devices. It should be working much, much better now uh, because we're using a new DLL. Uh, we had uh, help from Jeff, Ron Singer, and he uh, modified the DLL for us and is actually part of our team now, which is really great. So he's going to be helping out with Tablet Pro and progressing us in, in uh, a lot of ways that are going to benefit digital artists. Uh, Jeff, if you don't know, is a uh, visual artist who's worked on um, Aquaman and Guardian, Guardian of the Galaxies 2 and a couple other different big name um, movies. So a lot of experience doing uh, graphic uh, 3D and visual effects and everything uh, professionally. So very excited about having him on board and helping us out. All right, so the pen tool. This is really cool. Um, you can now... Uh, use it <laughs> on the Surface Pro 7, Surface Book 3, and um, maybe even the Surface Pro X. I'm not sure yet. If someone can test that out. Please let me know. All right, so I'm going to just go right here, and you can see I'm using Undo, and then I'm going to use the Color Picker. This is um, Alt plus Hover left click. So like that. So I actually don't have to put the pen tip on the screen to pick colors, which I think is really cool. Um, if I do put it on the screen, I can adjust the brush size. How cool is that? It's cool. All right, so anyway, you can see that working really nicely. Uh, our keyboard shortcut control plus backslash is what's going to bring up the uh, new pen tool. It's going to bring up the window. Let's go ahead and go back over here and switch over to the pen tool. I'm going to show you something else I really like. So we're going to do uh, click locations. This is working now, so I can I can have a click right here. Let's say I want one right here. I'd like there was two buttons on the screen. All right, you can see clicking here, there, here, there. Which if you have um, a program okay that if you have a program that has buttons that don't have keyboard shortcuts that's that's really helpful and it works really nicely just right here and drag to the place that you want to click and it will toggle between those locations if you if you make these blank um, then it'll just use the first location twice if you want to associate a program so this is Photoshop and I really like doing full screen work. I just think it's it's much, just much better. Uh, if I want to associate the artist pad with Photoshop, so every time I open up Photoshop, um, I can do that by putting the cursor. You can see the cursor on the screen right here. Hit Alt-Z. This is going to bring up uh, this specific one. Now, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to erase this because then it will only launch when I have this specific uh, file open. I'm going to go to Tablet Pro. Uh, I have Photoshop selected here. Browse preset file. Uh, we're not going to do hide Tablet Pro panel. And we're going to do artist pad medium and hit add new preset. I have already added this, so I'm not going to add it again. So here, if I switch, uh, let me open up OneNote. There we go. Switch. Switch. All right, um, that's it. Uh, a lot of the stuff is working much better, like I said, working on the Surface Pro 7, Book 3, and presumably a number of other devices. Uh, we think that you don't need to select your pen anymore. This is more visual than anything else, um, but you can still choose this for graphical reasons. And to um, have these different, the, the specific buttons set up correctly. Uh, we're going to be making more updates to the pen tool soon, including the ability to automatically associate with um, 
Photoshop and all the different presets that are built into Tablet Pro, so you don't actually have to link them. It'll just throw a pop-up up and says, do you want to connect this to Photoshop? Sure. That sounds good. And then it'll bring up the artist pad on its own every time you open up Photoshop. I know that's been something that a lot of us have wanted, including myself, for, for quite a while. Uh, look at that. Great news. All right, I'm going to be doing a review on this stylus, by the way, sometime soon. This is a mouse with left and right click. And this is a stylus with erase or invert and right click button. So um, pretty cool. Uh, review coming soon. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Very excited about this update. It's a big deal. And uh, please share this with your friends and social media. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.